What's up, everybody? Welcome to a probably year-end edition of Mostly Metal. I'm your host, Sean. Um, tonight, we're going to be going through... I'm going to start talking about my vinyl collection. Going back in the vault, as a lot of people call it. Um, talk about stuff that I've had in my collection. Some for a while, some brand new. Um, if I've already talked about something on my channel, I'm just going to kind of glaze over it a little bit. Um, so first off, um, tonight I am drinking a Cocoa Van by Hubbard's Cave. Um, I have I've talked about this beer company before out of Chicago. Um, this is an Imperial Stout with toasted coconuts and vanilla beans. It is delicious. Um, buddy and I went up there today to get some uh, other beer. It's about a two-hour drive. It's outside Chicago in uh, Niles, Illinois. Um, if you can get your hands on it, I highly recommend it. Um, if you want to try it and you want to do a beer trade, let me know. Um, and please do, um, I'm going to start saying this more. Apparently it helps. Um, please like and subscribe. Um, it does help the channel. I'd like to grow this channel in 2021. It's one of my goals to get some more subscribers and uh, some more chatter going on the channel and me um, uploading more videos. So please um, like and subscribe, tell your friends, etc. I plan to do some giveaways. Um, for those that don't know, I ran a record label. Technically still do. Um, <clears throat> did since 2008. Put out a lot of stuff. Um, some of that stuff I still have in my basement, so we can talk more about running a, a record label and what to do and what not to do uh, later. Um, so another shout out I want to give um, before I started my um, vinyl collection is today um, there's a channel called the Death Doom uh, Metalhead. Um, he put out like a year-end video um, of a bunch of channels that he subscribes to and follows as kind of like a shout out to everyone and he... Um, mention me on that channel so it's kind of cool that um somehow in this big world of ours that the metalhead community can kind of come together um so i thought it was pretty cool that he shouted me out so cheers hope you're doing well sir um and he, he shouted out a lot of other uh, metal channels that are, are great on youtube so i'll uh, i'll link his video below um and link to his channel and then you all can go to his video and follow all of us. Um, you know, we don't really make, most of us, I don't think, make any money doing this. It's just something we enjoy. So it's, it's should to, just good to have like a, a vinyl community going around. Um, and metal community in general. It doesn't have to be vinyl. Um, so with that, we're going to start with um, the letters. Or no, the numbers. And then we're going to get into the letters. Um, we're going in alphabetical order like most people do. And the first album in my collection that starts with a number is actually a pretty good one here. Um, 13th Floor Elevators. Um, this is the psychedelic sounds of the 13th Floor Elevators. This is a repress. I don't remember what year it came out. 2014, 2015, the repress that is. Um, this is the 13th Floor of Elevators. My god, that is awfully bright. Let's do it like this. Um, this is our first album. You may have heard of Rocky Erickson. This was his band. I'm a huge Rocky Erickson fan. I dare to say I like his solo stuff uh, better than the 13th Floor Elevators, but uh, this is where it started. Um, the only two songs that ever charted for them, if that really means anything for a band like this, um, You're Gonna Miss Me and Reverberation, two of their most popular songs. Um, are both on this album so um, if you can get a copy of this in any format um, you can probably find a cheap copy um, on Discogs for under 10 bucks whether it be CD or whatever you can also stream it if you need to most of us um, metalheads though we have to have something to hang on to um, cool album cover psychedelic rock and roll um, if you have ever heard the term psych rock and you weren't sure what that means uh, maybe you've heard of like the Brian Jonestown Massacre um, some other psychedelic rock and you're not really sure where to start start with this one and, and let the journey begin um, great great album happy to have this uh, in my collection um, next up is a uh, album I'm not going to talk too much about but um, because I've already talked about it this year this is Dream Squasher by 16 
Uh, this is their eighth studio album. Came out in 2020 on Relapse. Um, this is the, uh, if you can see that, limited edition out of 200, I think. Um, this is a great album. I um, When I had decided to start talking about my record collection, this one popped up. I remembered how much I, I liked it, and I pulled it up on Spotify yesterday and listened to it, and then I pulled out the vinyl and listened to the vinyl again. And the song, Sadlands, is great. Um, Candy in Spanish is great. And Agora, Killed by a Mountain Lion, are all three just great, great, heavy um, some people call these guys Doom or Sludge. Uh, I, I think their old stuff is more Doom Sludge. This has elements of that. But it's more, um, I don't want to say straight up rock and roll, um, but it's it's just super heavy and just on the border of something you could say, hey, that might be on the radio, and then something kicks in the song. You're like, nah, they're not going to play that on the radio. Um, I like the mushrooms and mushroom art on the cover very interesting on both the front and the back um, so if you had not checked out 16 um, it's on some year-end lists that I've seen not all of them but a lot of them um, and relapse gets a lot of hype anyway so um, this is like I said their eighth album so if you enjoy this one work your way backwards and check out uh, 16 great album um, the next section of records is where the A's start I don't know how you're technically supposed to categorize albums, but for my collection, it doesn't matter either way. Um, this is what vinyl nerds and metalheads do. Does ACDC technically start the A's because it's AC, or does is it AC, and if you had an AB album, it would go before the ACDC? I don't know, but there's technically a um, hierarchy to cataloging, uh, if you will. If you try to put something on Discogs, God forbid you don't do it the right way, um, you'll get dinged. I, I didn't realize that, by the way. I started trying to add a bunch of shit uh, probably a couple years ago, and I got flagged, and I, it's almost like I'm permanently banned from adding any new content to, uh, to Discogs, which is fine, because a lot of shit's out there now. When I started doing it, um, there was a lot of obscure metal that was not on Discogs yet, um, but I'd say nine times out of ten, it's out there now, so no big deal. So we are going to jump in, and this will finish it out um, tonight, but we're going to jump through my ACDC record collection. They are also playing here in the background. Um, I started, um, we'll start with the first album um, that I own, not, the, not their first album. This is um, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. Uh, this came out in 1976, uh, about three years after I was born. Um, this one does have, um, probably somewhat rare, a very beat up and torn up original inner sleeve with uh, pictures of the band and some lyrics on there. I'm holding it like this because it will fall apart, as you can see here, if I uh, don't hang on to it. Um, I, I did not, I, I was three years old when this came out, so I was not into ACDC until much, much later. Um, but every time I see an ACDC um, record, I do pick it up. Um, this has Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, obviously. Um, Big Balls was the first ACDC song I ever heard, so you can imagine um, my, I think I was, what, 12, maybe 13 when I heard Big Balls, and I thought it was fucking hilarious. Um, the song is kind of dumb, but I thought it was funny. Um, there's going to be some rockin' um, and Squealer are all on here. So um, this was not my intro to ACDC, but it is um, original pressing um, and um, something I, I do cherish. I always like the album cover, too. I thought it was kind of kind of funny. So Dirty Deeds Dunder Cheap. Next up, we had Let There Be Rock. This came out a year later in 1977 I'm gonna move some shit here so I can show you guys what I'm working with here 1977 let there be rock great picture of Angus there on the back um, I don't think this doesn't have an inner it's just black vinyl and um, this is an original pressing as well has let there be rock on it bad boy boogie problem child um, hell in a bad place to be and whole lot of Rosie 
shout out to uh, any of you heterosexual men out there that enjoy a whole lot of Rosie. You can get an idea of what that's about. Um, I thought the album cover was great. Uh, it's just kind of cool showing them rocking out on stage. There's actually people up against the stage there, which is interesting. Um, but again, original pressing, uh, 1977, ACDC. Um, next up, the one, another one that I own is Power Age. Power Age that came out in 1978. This is also, I'm going to move this mic a little bit. I did fix my mic, by the way. I got it brilliantly enough. I, I didn't put it way the fuck up here. I moved Um, this one has um, Rock and Roll Damnation, um, Give Me a Bullet, Riff Raff, um, Gone Shooting, Kicked in the Teeth are some of my favorites. Um, this, again, is an original press. Um, classic ACDC. Some of these albums I don't, I don't think get enough praise, obviously because of uh, a couple that I'm going to be talking about here. Um, the songs you always hear are, of course, the popular ones, but... I've been, um, I've got ACDC on the background, as I said, and I'm kind of into the, been listening to some of the, what I call deep cuts, what most people call deep cuts. It's the stuff that's on the album that's great that weren't considered hits or played on the radio. Um, their deep cuts are, are great as well. I mean, I could put, you could put ACDC on at a party or um, when you're just farting around the house doing stuff and you're not going to skip any songs. I, I don't know that they have any skippable songs. Um, great riffs, great vocalists, um, just great band all the way around. Um, I got no complaints about ACDC, so good, good stuff. Next up is one is probably my favorite, probably many people's favorite. Eh, many people probably like Back in Black better. Um, but this is Highway to Hell. Um, this came out in 79, and this is an original pressing as well. Um, funny story about this album. 1979, I would have been six years old. Um, I went to a private school for a while. Um, it wasn't like Catholic school or anything. It was, uh, I don't know what they called it. Um, they did mix some religion into their teachings, but um, we had what was called a hard rock seminar. Um, where we they put us in this um uh, in, in the gym if i remember right and shows this video of all these um satanic um, bands and as you can imagine as an impressionable young kid i want to say they had a hard rock seminar when i was in sixth grade i don't know what the age that would put me maybe 12 13 when i was starting to cut my teeth in, in heavy metal um and they showed us this album cover um and said hey look this guy has devil horns, you know, that's obviously a bad thing, and they taught us that ACDC stood for All Children Defy Christ, um, and then they proceeded to tell us about the lead singer, um, allegedly, um, I think he had been a devil worshiper, I, of course I know that's not to be true, but they taught us that he was a devil worshiper, and he worshiped the devil, and he died choking on his own vomit. Um, that part's true, but it wasn't because he was worshipping the devils, because he was shit-faced, um, which I didn't know what that meant at that age, but my all-time favorite ACDC song is If You Want Blood, You've Got It. Um, I could, I've listened to that song hundreds upon hundreds of times. I listened to it tonight. It still gets me amped up. Um, probably what got me amped up to do this video, uh, to be honest, but I love every song on here. Um, Touch Too Much, great fucking song. Um, walk All Over You, Girl Got Rhythm, Highway to Hell, of course, um, Shot Down in Flames, Love Hunger Man, Night Prowler. These are all classics, in my opinion. Some of these are considered deep cuts, as I mentioned earlier, but um, from the iconic album cover to the songs and the music on this, um, this is a, an album I will cherish forever. It's beat to shit, as you can see. I mean, it's not a, a super great copy uh, visually, but that vinyl plays just fine, so... Uh, I'm just happy to have an original pressing of this. Um, great, great fucking album. Do listen to it if for some reason you haven't listened to Highway to Hell. And you've heard the song Highway to Hell, but not the rest of it. Skip that song and listen to the rest. You won't be disappointed. Next up is the one you all um, probably love to hate. It came out in 1980. Back in Black. This is also an original pressing. 
Um, no, I don't. Yeah, this actually had the inner sleeve, um, black and white inner sleeve to match the cover. Um, it is very beat up. Uh, the vinyl's great, but um, this has probably their most well-known songs. Um, Back in Black, Hell's Bell, Shoot the Thrill, um, Rock and Roll Ain't Noise Pollution, You Shook Me All Night Long, probably their most popular song. Um, this is not my favorite ACDC, but I do enjoy it. It has the, the kind of embossed um, cover, too. You can kind of feel the Back in Black and ACDC there. Um, iconic album. Not my favorite, as I said, but still a great, great ACDC um, album. And I do remember this one in the Hard Rock Seminar as well. The black symbolized something. But Next up, we have, I believe this came out, when did this come out? 83 um, no weird inner sleeve um, this is uh, another gem that doesn't get talked about much flick of the switch more embossed cover there just uh, kind of a white with black writing um, this has the house is on fire flick of the switch landslide deep in the hole kind of guess what that song is about um, brain shake and again another just iconic classic ACDC album. I don't see this in record stores very much. Um, I don't think it was one of their more popular releases after Back in Black. Um, obviously the sales um, will never match that of Back in Black, but it's still a, a great ACDC album. And last but not least, the only one, the last ACDC album I own, I believe this came out in 86. Um, but this is, um, ironically enough, the guy I was talking about earlier, um, we went up to um, Hubbard's Cave today. The topic of ACDC came up, and Who Made Who came up, and I own a copy, and I completely forgot. So the, if you don't know, this came out in 86. Um, this is from the Maximum Overdrive, if you see down here at the bottom. Uh, horror movie, Stephen King um, movie. This was the official soundtrack. Um, you can see here this copy is all beat to shit. Um, it's just, again, I found a record store for a few dollars and I didn't have it in my collection, so I picked it up. Um, this has, it's kind of like a greatest hits in a way. It's got Who Made Who, um, You Shook Me All Night Long, um, Hell's Bells, and for those about to rock, we salute you along with some other stuff. Um, a lot of the songs written by Malcolm and Angus Young. Um, not my favorite ACDC. I mainly got it because I didn't have it. Um, I didn't have the song Who Made Who on vinyl. Not the greatest ACDC song, but um, it's just a cool looking cover. You know, you got Ang Angus there. and uh, Yeah, it's just great. And I'm a Stephen King um, kind of kind of a horror movie buff. Not a huge Stephen King fan, but... Um, I did enjoy Maximum Overdrive, so yeah, it's uh, it's a good album. Uh, if you're gonna start anywhere, though, work start with the ones I've I've talked about earlier and um, work your way up to to Who Made Who. Uh, so with that, uh, well, we're gonna talk about one more, just to throw you guys a curveball. I didn't want it wasn't gonna talk about this one to ruin my street cred on this channel, but um, I do have this album. If you don't like it, I don't care. Um, talk about a departure. Brian Adams, that's right. Reckless. Um, this is the only album of his I enjoy. Um, this has Run To You, Heaven, Somebody, Summer 69 on it. Um, those are all great, iconic, classic hits. Um, the other songs on here are actually pretty good that you've probably never heard. Um, the song um, Kids Wanna Rock and Long Gone are, are great songs. Um, Ain't Gonna Cry is kind of cheesy, but um, this does come with the original inner. I'm not real familiar with this band. I don't know if these guys are popular musicians now or not. Um, some sappy lyrics on the other side. And this copy is an original pressing, and it comes with um, this insert, which is probably fairly rare. Um, it looks like this is a video that you could send and order <clears throat> a VHS. Um, you could send away for Brian Adams' Reckless VHS for $20, um, plus shipping and handling. So it looks like 
Um, it has his first. It was his home, first home video featuring uh, music videos, <coughs> um, four other song videos, um, directed by the guy that did Billy Jean from Michael Jackson. Um, and it even says here, even the price is special, less than the cost of two concert tickets. Um, not true these days. Um, and, and the other funny thing here, if you look real close, you can see down here, you can get it on beta, even. Um, beta Max was a, for you young kids that don't know, the struggle was real. We had to decide between, um, it wasn't high def or Blu-ray or 4K, it was VHS and Beta Max. Um, and VHS won out. So, um, I enjoy this album. I don't care if everyone else hates it. It's not metal at all, but um, Brian Adams wrote some good songs on this album, and I'm, I've got it in my collection. So, there's a curveball for you. I didn't plan on talking about that. So, it gets us through the ADA. Um, next up, I'll go through some other vinyls starting. Well, if you can see right there, that's the next one. Um, that is Adolescence with um, Bratz and Battalions. That is an original pressing that I will be talking about to kick off my next vinyl video. Um, so again, thanks for checking out the channel, guys. Hope you enjoy this journey. I know it's primarily ACDC that you all know and love, probably, but it doesn't help to dig into those deep cuts, um, like I mentioned. And again, if you want to like and subscribe, um, share this video, it, it would help me out um, tremendously. And um, let's just get the community going and talking about music. That's the most important thing. So thanks for checking out the channel, guys, and I'll catch you all later.